Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to need my black box because I've got another vacuum cleaner all the way from the good old US of A. Yes, it's a Hoover. And let's hope that this Hoover is in one piece and not broken because obviously I can't get any parts for this in the UK. So, well, so far so good. Looks like it's been quite well packed. Now the thing is, when you import something from another country, often customs have to open the box and check that there's nothing inside that shouldn't be. I don't know if they check every single box, but uh, let's hope if they've checked this one, they've put it back properly. Let's get rid of all this brown paper. There she is, and oh dear, oh dear, oh this is a disaster, an absolute disaster. I haven't had very many terrible disasters recently, but this one is catastrophic, catastrophic. I, I, I did hear some rattling when I took this box in. I thought, oh, fingers crossed. That is, I don't know how that's happened. That is ludicrous. Right. Here's the hose. Here's a power nozzle. Here's one tube. Here's another tube. And here is a Hoover Futura vacuum cleaner all the way from America, absolutely, completely and utterly ruined. It shouldn't have a big hole here that I can put my hand in. No, 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 that's wrong. It shouldn't be there, folks. So it's a shame because apart from that big hole, it was in very good condition. Right. <sighs> Deary me. Well, I'm just going to pause the video so I can take a photo of this. Um, the seller will have to pay for this to be returned or give me all my money back because I cannot get another top. I wouldn't have thought. <sighs> Deary me. Well, folks, it's worse than I thought. I was hoping that the part that has obviously been smashed in, it's obviously taken a blow that way. I was hoping that it might have sort of been in one piece and I could possibly have stuck it, but obviously, no, it didn't. There is absolutely no way on earth I could repair this. Tiny, tiny bits and there's some very small shards of plastic you can probably not see. And here is the one of the cord uh, cable doobery thingies. So it's obviously been completely smashed. I mean, this cost me, with shipping and import charges, about £188 sterling. Okay, so I'm not going to take that loss. Now, I don't blame the seller. Obviously, it's been smashed, but the seller will go is going to have to refund the money. Now, I've requested, I've sent four photographs of the vacuum cleaner via eBay, and I've requested to return the item. Now, I don't expect to be returning this somehow because the seller will have to pay the return shipping. I've bought a, a, an item from eBay. It's arrived smashed. It's up to the seller if they, if they want to put a claim in with the shipping company. But this is how it's arrived. And obviously it's, <laughs> it's catastrophic damage. You know, if you've watched my channel for a while, things do arrive damaged. And a lot of the times I can get the parts or fix them. Um, but this is an American machine. 
So unless any of my viewers have got this exact piece here, this um, motor cover that incorporates, it doesn't have to have the tools, I'd need this whole piece, wouldn't I? In this, in this color as well, because obviously you know me, I wouldn't be happy if I could get this in, in a different color. This machine would have come in different colors, I expect. But I think this cleaner must be from the late 80s or 90s. And to get this part, I think it's going to be pretty difficult. I've opened it, there's not even a bag in it. Now I can buy bags and a belt for the power nozzle um, from Amazon.com and I've already got those in my Amazon.com basket ready. I thought there might be a bag in it, but there's not even a bag. It's such a shame because it's in very, very good condition otherwise. You know, look at it, it's, it's very, very good. The, look how ironic, the wheels have survived. It's normally the wheels. I've opened a cleaner. I don't know if you're going to see it for some time, but I've just opened an upright vacuum. Um, actually, I haven't filmed that yet. I just opened it because I needed to get rid of the box. Um, so I might not show you that, but I I opened an upright vacuum, bought in the UK. Excellent condition, but one of the wheels completely smashed in. Went online. I can buy lots of parts for it, including the motor. But the one part that's obsolete is the back wheel. How ludicrous. So... <laughs> Look at that. Get my whole hand in there, whole fist in there. Now I can turn this on. I'm going to turn it on because it is all sealed up still. I mean, it's the motor's in there, but it's got another casing around it. It's not going to be electrically unsafe. I think in theory it would work. I could, whoops, I could just stick some tape over that, black tape, and use it. And if it was my only vacuum and I couldn't afford a new one and that had happened then that's what I would have done but uh, obviously I <laughs> I'm gonna just put those bits to one side a minute oh dearie me so folks just pretend you didn't see that and I'll show you around this Hoover Futura now even though this is an American vacuum and was never available in the UK I was aware of this range and uh, also the spectrum and the dimension and the tempo cylinder cleaner and many other American machines because back in the late 80s Hoover UK got in touch with Hoover USA who at that time were part of the same company and they managed to get me a whole load of American Hoover leaflets and the Futura was was amongst that there were several different models I had them all I sold most of those leaflets unfortunately um, but I remember the Futura and the Spectrum which is I think very similar and of course the Dimension 1000 so I know there were more deluxe models than this this is a base model because it doesn't have doesn't even have the auto cord rewind more deluxe models here would have had a pedal the same as this on off switch to, to wind up the cable. It's such a shame that this has happened because if that hadn't happened, I'd be pretty pleased with this because the condition of it, there's a few light scratches, but a lot of that would buff out. It's got the tools. It's got all the tools, I think. I'm not sure if it came with a hard floor nozzle, but you know, it's got the pips okay. It's got a crevice tool here. It's got an upholstery nozzle with the rubber teeth and it's got the dusting brush so that's all fine and dandy and there's the on off switch now the switch that's broken obviously because this doesn't have auto cord rewind you would wrap the cable around the on off switch and the other cable hook so it would actually store the cable and I think that cable hook turned it, it rotated so you could release it all in one go what's it say here on the there's a little sticker so it says Hoover Futura cleaning effectiveness equals 10.5 per amp uses only 9.6 amps and then there's a peel off sticker here Hoover rating system, the cleaning effectiveness per amp number is not an amp rating. 
Amps do not measure dirt removal, only the amount of electricity used. Cleaning effectiveness per amp is determined by dividing this model's cleaning effectiveness by its amps. And then more writing, cleaning effectiveness is the percent value obtained from dividing A, the geometric mean of the amount of embedded carpet dirt removed in testing under ASTM test method F60889 by B, the value 29, the geometric mean of the midpoints of the percentage dirt pickup scale selected by Hoover as a reference for its rating system. Oh, what a palaver. A bit further up here on the bag door, we can see a little blank piece here, which I'm assuming on more deluxe models, there would have been a bag check indicator. So inside here would be the bag if there was one. Ah, now that's, a, that's it says it takes type S bags. But I have a funny feeling, looking at the bag holder here, it might fit the Hoover Sensotronic bags, the later boxy style. Might get something to fit that. So I'm going to turn the machine on. It's not even got a filter, I've just noticed. So I can't really do a demo of this. Obviously I'm going to turn it on, check the motor works, check the power head works as well. There is a grill, but behind the grill, no filter. I believe, I don't know, I, yes, I, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter about the filters. I think I can still get them, but I can just get a generic filter and cut, cut it to fit. There's no problem there. I'm surprised actually that that closes without a bag in place. And now there was a bit, oh dear. What is that? Something else. Oh heck, oh, there's more, there's more bits, oh dear, right so that's really all I can show you of the cleaner, we'll just have a look at the rating plate, somebody maybe would like to date it for me if you wouldn't mind. So this is Hoover Cleaner model S3563 Series F9.6, bag type S, belt is 38528-011. The serial number is 0696000015842, made in USA. Despite the actual cleaner itself being fairly basic, it is a power head model. So we do have a power hose that's pretty grubby, but it looks intact. There's the uh, plug that we connect it to the socket on the machine. Obviously it's a swivel top. Now this cleaner will work, I'm assuming. It'll work without the hose attached because there's no remote on this. It's just got a little power takeoff socket here to connect up the power nozzle. We've got uh, an adjustable vent for the suction and we've got the locking ring system. The two wands. It's just such a terrible shame because this cleaner is in lovely condition, really. These wands are, are lovely too. The wands incorporate two little clips so we can connect the power nozzle uh, mains cable to it to keep it tidy. Here is the power nozzle behind me. And again, look at the condition of that. It's pretty clean all round. It's a bit of an unusual. Are those beta bars? Are they supposed to be beta bars? They don't really encroach much, do they? They don't stick out, so I don't know how effective they are. Not sure what the wattage of this power nozzle is, if I can see. This uh, nozzle assembled in Mexico. Parts made in US of A, it says. Normally I'd expect to find a little rating sticker on the nozzle. It's got a headlamp, but I can't see that working somehow. Anyway, I've sent uh, four photographs to eBay, via, you know, to the seller via eBay's system and um, just requested a refund, well, requested a return. As I say, I can't see the seller wanting to fork out the return costs 
for this. I just hope to get all my money back. I don't even want a partial refund. There's no point because it's it really is useless to me unless by some miracle I can get a new hood in this colour, you know. So any of you watching, have you got one? Or do you know where I can get one from? So we can clip, whoops. You see, I know in, a, in the USA, you're spoilt for canisters with power nozzles. Well, I don't think you are so much now. I think uh, canister cleaners are having a bit of a decline, aren't they? I read somewhere in the USA. They don't seem to be being purchased by as many people. But to have a power head um, in the UK, pretty rare. Well, it's very rare now. Back in the 80s and early 90s, you could get a few models with power heads. Right then, folks. Let me just <laughs> grab my box. Eek. And we'll just see if this thing works. I'm going to just move it out of the way a bit. As I say, I can't really do a proper demo of it. There's no bag and there's no filter. Maybe if there's a miracle, I will be able to get the part. If the seller wants it back and is prepared to re reimburse me completely, then it will be going back. But at least you've seen it. At least I've seen it. Mm. Right, let me just plug it into my box. This is uh, somebody asked me. I put a picture of an American vacuum cleaner up on the side of my Facebook or Instagram and they said, how do you work it in the USA? Well, this in the UK. Well, this is how I work it. This is a step down voltage converter. So this converts the UK 220 to 240 volt supply that we have in our homes down to 120 volts. So this vacuum cleaner will work. Right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to press the on button. I don't know if it's going to be on or off. <sighs> right, it's on at the box. So I'm just going to plug it in and switch it on at the wall and just see it might spew out a load of stuff from that. I don't know. Oh dear. Here goes. Right, it didn't work. <laughs> ah, right, it should work now. Well, yes, it did work. I don't know if you could see, but I could certainly see a load of muck spewing out of that. I'm breathing in some American <laughs> skin cells, I expect, and heaven knows what else. But anyway, I'm used to it. I'm used to breathing in all sorts of uh, crud, and I have done since I was a kid, which is why I don't have any allergies now, because my body's obviously built up in immunity. I think that sounds okay, not that I know what these sound like, but uh, oh, I can see another piece of the plastic in there. Okay, let's see if the power head works. I've switched it off at the wall, just to be safe, before I connect up the hose. So the hose goes on there, and I think it will have a stop, yes. So it's not a 360 degree because it, it obviously won't rotate fully because it has this uh, cable sticking out, doesn't it? So we can plug that in. Now, which way? Is it that way? I think that's the way, that's the way it's clicked in. So that's the power hose powered up. We'll connect it. That's a very light, very light power nozzle, that. So now we can put the handle on. Oh dear, I'm just so, you know, it's not the end of the world, you know, it's not the end of the world, just connect that up, it's just a shame that this has happened, but what can you do? But I will certainly not be happy unless I get all my money back. Or. <laughs> If the seller can source the exact part I need, then I'd be quite happy to take that. But I can't see that happening somehow. But the seller's more chance of getting getting that part in the USA than I have. I have no chance of getting it right. Well, 
okay that's connected up now if I switch on we should have some power to the nozzle if the headlamp comes on it will be an absolute miracle Yes, as predicted, the headlamp doesn't work, but oh, it's such a shame because it seems to work fine. Um, let's have a quick look at the old, it might need a new belt to make it work even better, but we'll uh, just see that rotating, shall we? We can turn it on. No, I think the belt in that's uh, pretty good, to be honest. Um, I think I have got some belts because I think it's pretty standard. One belt fits quite a lot of different Hoover power nozzles. Oh, I'm getting a bit of a smell. I don't know if that's from the power head or the cleaner, but I'll, <laughs> just to be safe, I'll switch it off at the socket. Now I did manage to uh, fit a Henry bag just for the brief, because there was some bits on the carpet and obviously, I would have done it if there'd been a filter in place, but there wasn't even a filter. So I didn't want to be sucking any anything into the motor, no matter how small. I don't want to cause any more damage. So I managed, it was the only bags I had to hand, I could easily get hold of. I managed to shove a Henry bag in. It does, amazingly. Crikey, I've just vacuumed here. There's dirt. Can you see the dirt's already picked up? So it, that, fortunately, just fitted onto that bit there. But yeah, oh dear. What an absolute shame that is. Because if that had been in one piece, and not, oh dear, not lots of pieces, I'd have been really, really pleased with that. Well, that's about all I can really show you in this video. A bit of a disaster, this one. It's made even worse by the fact that this has come all the way from the US of A. And um, as I said, I can't buy parts for this easily. And even if I could, this, it costs an absolute fortune to have them shipped over and I have to pay customs and all sorts. What a shame, because if this had been intact, I would have been extremely happy with this. And it looks good now, but after I'd cleaned it up a bit, wouldn't have needed a lot doing. Bit of a clean, bit of a polish, new bulb in the uh, power nozzle. It would have been absolutely almost mint. What a shame. That's the uh, risk you take. There you go. That's one of the perils of buying secondhand goods from eBay. If you have any comments or questions about this cleaner, especially if you live in the US of A, please comment below. And if you know where I can get a, a new or used this part, the tool caddy part in this green, please let me know. If I can get one, I'll see if the seller will partly refund me the cost of that, but we'll see. I expect I'll be getting a refund for this. So thanks for watching, thumb up even though it was a thumbs down for me, but you can thumb the video up if you like. Subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, hopefully the next video will have a vacuum cleaner in one piece. We can but hope. Goodbye for now.